Hello everyone, this is Mr. Couple. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a scatter plot with error bars using Microsoft Excel. The first thing I've done is I've imported my experimental data into this spreadsheet. The first column is my mass data, which is gonna go on the horizontal axis. The second column is my average stopping distance data, which is gonna go on the vertical axis. And the last column is the uncertainty or the absolute error in those stopping distance measurements. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is select the data. You always need to make sure that the first column is your horizontal axis and the second column is your vertical axis. Once I'm sure that I've got the axes right, I'm gonna go up to insert, charts, scatter, and select scatter plot. This is what a scatter plot looks like. I'm gonna make it larger so we can see what we're working with. Next, we're gonna to go to chart design ribbon, quick layout, and we're gonna choose Quick Layout 3. It's the best layout for scientific reports. However, since we're only graphing one series of data, we don't need this legend. So we're gonna to go to Chart Design, Add Chart Element, Legend, None, and that will remove the legend. Alternatively, you could select the legend and press the Delete key on your keyboard. Next, we're gonna to wanna to set up the axis titles. So click the axis title on the graph, Go up to the formula bar, press equals, and select the cell that has your vertical axis title in it, which is this header of our vertical axis column. Now, whatever's in this cell will automatically be linked to this vertical axis title. Watch, if I change this, it will dynamically change this. Next, we're gonna do the same for the horizontal axis. Click the horizontal axis title, press equals in the formula bar, and select the header that's associated with the horizontal axis. You'll notice that my graph does not have a title. If you'd like to add a title, you can go to chart design, add chart element, and you can say chart title above the chart. However, since we are only making one chart, it doesn't make sense to put a title on it because the title can be understood from the labels of the axes. Next, we're gonna wanna adjust these data points because they're so big. The default setting in Microsoft Excel is to give you big fat data points, and we don't like that. So we're gonna select format, we're gonna use this drop down, and we're gonna choose series one. And this will select the series one data. You can notice these little dots that are appearing around our data points, showing us that we currently have the data points selected. We're gonna come over here to where it says format data series. We're gonna click the paint bucket. If this bar isn't showing up for you, on Max, there should be a paintbrush here that you can click on to make this bar show up. Once again, I'm gonna click on the bucket. I'm gonna click on marker, marker options, and I'm gonna say built-in. I'm gonna choose size three. I'm gonna say the fill should be a solid color black fill, and the border should be no line. This makes the data points look much better. Now we're gonna add error bars. To do that, you can select the chart, so click on the chart, chart design, add chart element, error bars, and choose standard error. This will make it so the error bars are visible. However, our data only has error in the vertical axis. The horizontal axis did not have any uncertainty in it. What we need to do is to select the horizontal error bars and delete them. Click on the graph, select format, choose the dropdown, choose X bars and press delete. This will delete the horizontal error bars. Next, we want to format the vertical error bars to use our calculated uncertainties and not the default settings. We're gonna select the chart, go format, the drop down, choose Y error bars. Over here on the format error bars tab, we're gonna choose right here, error bar options. We're gonna go down to custom select specify value. We're gonna delete what's in here for the positive error, push backspace and select our uncertainty values. This is the plus and it's also the negative. It's plus or minus, it's both. In IB physics, we use the same error bar for positive and for negative because this is a plus or minus. Then I hit okay and now my graph is done. We can see the error bars have appeared on each point and it looks just like this. And that's it. 